Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is not gonna be a Swedish word. It's actually just gonna be a pronunciation because I've gotten some requests to do this. I feel like I do this all the time, but here we go. The pronunciation is Linda Halleberg. And that is of course Linda Hallberg. Um, as you say in Swedish, you say it more like Linda Hallberg, but we say Linda Hallberg. Linda Hallberg. And that is the Swedish pronunciation of the Swedish Linda Hallberg or Linda Hallberg. Today, of course, we're gonna play with the spectral palette that she just launched yesterday. I got it super quick in the mail. This retails for $59 or uh, 549 Swedish crumbs, but I do have a discount code for you. Unfortunately, I only have it on Kix website, so you can only use this if you're shopping at Kix. Don't know if this is gonna work in Finland and so on, but this is the code, you can just pause and screenshot if you want to, if you wanna see the other codes, but you will get 20% off any, any, thing you want to purchase and this is going to apply like if you purchase multiple products this is gonna apply to like the most expensive product the discount code is john or just j-o-n and this will apply until may 14th 2019 and by the way this is obviously not a collaboration with kicks or something like this is something everyone gets that is a member of kicks but i get all of the codes which not everyone gets because i'm a gold member so this palette is vegan it's limited edition and this is linda's like first real eyeshadow palette like yes she has some eyeshadow palettes before this i do have the enchanted secrets palette but this is the first palette that she has with like mattes shimmers duochromes and so on it comes like this this is obviously linda love this packaging this packaging by the way because i know that some people have complained in the past about her packaging is way more uh, luxurious it's way more sturdier than some of her other palettes has been but i know that some people have said that they have been a little bit cheap and so on this one is not i feel like this is really good uh you do get 2.5 grams per pan you get a mirror and then of course you get eight eyeshadows so you get two shimmers which are these two you get four mattes which are these four you get one duochrome and one glitter and by the way if you think that i look a little bit strange or something i do i just came home this is friday night i was not planning to film but i got this and i was like um nicholas isn't home i have Siggy here that is really really sleepy because we went on a longer walk so i was like you know what let me sit down film this video and have it up as an extra video on Saturday for you guys. What I wanted to say is that I did use an eyeshadow palette for my everyday look today, like I didn't film this obviously, and I did use the Kaleidos Astro Pink palette and it's stained and I've only applied like foundation and I didn't wipe off my brows. So I do still have staining here because I haven't applied my concealer and so on, but we'll fix that later. I didn't wanna do my entire face because I don't know if this is gonna stain or uh, give me a lot of fallout because I obviously haven't used it yet. But we will start off with with swatches i'm kind of nervous but yeah let's do this i am gonna swatch it on my arms i'm not gonna have any eyeshadow primer anything like that and clean fingers oh my god this is so good okay i'm just kidding <laughs> so first one is dim Ooh, didn't feel that impressive swatched really good the next one is faint and then this i cannot pronounce eerie I hope that that is correct, Eerie. Now we have Abstract, Illusion, and Occult. Oops. Well, you saw me. That was my fault. Sorry. Next up is Phantom and Unknown. So here you have them. This is just one layer swatched. Uh, I will swatch some of the mattes again because they are a bit sheer. So here you have all of these swatches. So if you are known to Linda, she works really, really fast. So I will try to do that today as well, just because it is late at night, but then also to be a little bit inspired by Linda. She does like these really, really cool looks, but it doesn't seem like she sits and does her makeup for like three hours. 
it seems like she does it like really quick I, I do really admire that because I don't really know how she does it so I'm gonna start off with the shade unknown which is the pink one has a little bit of kick up but nothing too cray cray I assumed you guys saying a little bit more but okay let's do this I think I'm gonna try and use this as a blush today. That worked really, really easy. Same thing here. Seems to have a lot of pigment. So next up, I'm gonna take the shade Eerie, which is this beautiful purple. This one really distracts me. Oh, I do like these ones to mix together. They're very, very beautiful. By the way, of course I will link Linda's blog, Linda's YouTube channel, Linda's um, cosmetic, like everything. But I did see Linda's video on this palette and she said that originally she wanted to do a pastel palette, but she was like, why stop there? So she continued and this Obviously, it's not a pastel palette, but I do definitely see where she started off. You know, when I saw this first, I was like, oh my god, this is the uh, Stroke Cosmetics Groupie Cute Palette 2. If you haven't seen that, the only two similar shades are actually like, okay, I'm gonna show you. This and this, because the other ones are how to do this, like so. Because the other ones are... Um, in this palette is like shimmers and so on. I for one love the Stroke Cosmetic Creepy Cute palette, but I don't reach for it enough just because of the fact that it is pastels. These two blended out real, real beautifully together. So now I'm gonna take the shade Occult. These shades, they are shades that I tend to fall in love with. And I am just picking this one up on a packing brush and I'm gonna pack this. all over my lid and I need a smaller brush I can tell <laughs> this is a little bit too large of a packing brush so I'm just gonna pack this on and this is not gonna be an all matte look so with the same brush I am just gonna take this shade occult under my eyes beautifully I feel like this looks very very grungy I could stop here I think that this looks really nice if I just blended out the edges but I will add a little bit more now just taking a real small blending brush I'm gonna start blending this and every time I use this brush blush every time I use this brush I get questions this is the Morphe M562 brush I think like the print has actually worn off a bit so I'm just gonna start blending this together with my crease. I'm taking a mix of the shade Unknown and Eerie. So these two mattes, just a little mix right here and then blending this out. Ooh, the mix together was really, really pretty. Taking a bit of the shade only, unknown, or only the shade unknown, I mean. Blending it out. So now, we're coming to the fun part. I'm gonna take the shade abstract, which is, it's sheer. I'm just gonna swatch it again so you can see it's sheer, sheer, it's not sheer, it's sheer. So right here, like it's, as I would describe like a pigmented sheer color, it's not like super opaque, but it's not like super sheer either. But I think that this will be super beautiful layering over another color. I think that that is the way that I would like this shade to be applied. And I'm gonna apply it all over the purple. I think that I will go in with my finger, but just for reference, like just for the video's sake, I'm going to go in with a really stiff brush. This is just a stiff like packing brush or a small concealer brush. And then I'm just gonna pack it on. Boom. 
that is really beautiful. You can see I have gotten a lot of fallout. So as you can see, it is like a little bit more of that crumbly formula. For, I, I hate saying formula. For, I say formula, formula, but I think it's pronounced formula, but that sounds so incorrect. <laughs> But I'm gonna try. I'm learning and I'm learning pronunciations thanks to you guys. So it's a little bit of a crumbly formula. Taking my finger. Oh, this was easier. You get the same effect, but without the fallout. Dare we take a little bit of the shade Illusion in the center? I think we dare. I just want a smidge, just like so. Not a lot, just a little bit with my finger. I really like this. I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll be right back. So I'm hopping into a little bit more of the shade Illusion, which is this silver. I'm just gonna take this in my inner corner. Oh, it, it just... I'm actually gonna use this as my blush and highlight as well in honor of Linda, because Linda is like the queen of multi-using products. Like, I really wanna get her uh, lipsticks that she has and use them as cream blushes. I don't even wanna have them for the lipstick. Like, yes, I do. I've been loving a sheer lip lately, but I wanna get them to just use this cream blush. Who am I? Let me slap on some lashes because this is actually all I'm gonna do for the eyes, not the under eyes, and some concealer, and then we're gonna use the rest uh, Linda Hallberg products, okay? So I'll be right back. Linda Hallberg products, so sorry. So now I'm gonna take the Linda Hallberg Infinity Loose Powder, Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Light. It does come in a medium. <gasps> I don't know if you saw that. I don't need to use this powder. I can just take it off my shirt. I'm so freaking clumsy. So scooped up a little bit from my hand. <laughs> Love. I'm just gonna set this just like so. I'm not gonna do a lot of powders because I'm actually just grabbing it off my shirt. Because I feel like Linda, she's not like that super matte girl. I know when there was a term that came out in Sweden that was called strobing, which is basically like in, instead of contouring, you're highlighting. And she was like, yeah, wrote on her blog, like I've been doing that for years. And I just like, yeah, you have. I feel like Linda has never been one of those like Instagram makeup artists. She has always like done her thing which I really appreciate. But I do need to powder right here because you can see it creases on me otherwise. So that is all I'm gonna contour. No, powder. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do our under eyes right now and I am going to take the shade um, Eerie, which is the purple, the lightest purple. And I'm just gonna blend this under my eyes. When I went to the bathroom, I looked in the mirror while washing my hands and I was like, because it's different lighting in there and I was like, oh damn, that is very, very natural. I'm taking a little bit of the shade Occult. I wanna deepen this up a little bit, but it's a little bit more um, toned down for me. It's still colorful, but it's a little bit more like wearable and quick. I'm taking a bit of the shade Unknown just connecting it right here to the sides and then blending it under my eyes. And then we're gonna take the Linda Halle Body Mood Crayon in the shade Cool Mood, which is this beautiful blue shade. And then we're just gonna apply this in a waterline. So I went off camera to do my mascara under my eyes and then bronzer. I did not contour because Linda doesn't contour. So now I'm gonna highlight before I do my blush and I took out my Infinity palette. So I'm going to take these two shades. I like mixing them and these are subtle. They are not like blinding highlights. As you can see, they are very 
like daytime appropriate glow from within. However, I am going to spray my brush because I do want them to be a little bit more pigmented, which is a trick you can do. I'm just gonna apply a little bit right there. That's enough. Just gonna take a little bit right here on the nose. Taking the gold shade Virgo on my nose as well. A little bit on my chin, which I know not everyone likes. I do. Okay, I'm gonna use the same brush and now I'm taking this. There's a lot of weight difference to these, by the way. This is like a lot heavier. Taking the shade Illusion. This is to the touch a little bit thicker and a lot glitterier, but I'm just gonna take a little bit. I think that is cool, a little bit more. And lastly, I am going to take a little bit of the shade Unknown and Dim. So we're gonna have a little bit of a sparklier blush. And then I'm gonna tap my brush off because I don't want this to be too pigmented. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of pigment. <laughs> so I'm just tapping this over and then blending this out. I like this. I'm gonna apply a lipstick and then I'll be right back and share my final thoughts. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I just applied some liquid lipstick. I applied the NYX, let's see here, the NYX Liquid Suede. This is really, really old. Uh, tea and Cookies. And then I took a little bit of the shade ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Atta Girl. Anyway, you don't care about that. You are here to hear me talk about this palette. So. I have used three of the mattes. I'm gonna start off talking about those. They do contain a little bit of kick up. They are pigmented and they do blend out really, really well. Real, really quick, I did this look in, as I said, no time. Uh, I feel like the mattes blended out really well, as I said. They seem to be really easy to work with. I don't care about kick up. If you do, then they don't contain that much kick up. The shimmers I have obviously not used, but they seem a bit lackluster. They seem a bit sheer and possibly not being my personal preference, but I will use this palette more and then do a updated review and tutorial. This shade is so unique. I love this shade and I love the fact that she didn't go for that real, really pigmented, you know, like a really opaque, juvious place shimmer. This is not it. It's more sheer, it's more glittery, and it's very, very as I said, it's very unique. Now I have layered this over a matte. I layered this over this matte and I feel like you can really mix this up. Like imagine taking this over a black shade. Oof, I think that that can be stunning and this is really a shade that I think you can uh, transform. This shade is very, very gritty to the touch. I will say that. It's very, very gritty to the touch. Not something that necessarily transforms to your eyes. Uh, I feel like I can use this as a, as you can see, like I have it on my cheekbones today. I feel like it worked really, really nice. Did not have any problems with it and I also have it in my inner corner. It is glittery, but I do really, really like it. I don't have any problems with any of the shadows that I did use. This shade, if you are known to my channel, is a shade that I am so weak to when it comes to blushes. So I'm really happy that I did try it out as a blush and that I also tried this out as a highlight because I did not think that I would like it as much as a highlight just because of the fact that it is silver. And I necessarily don't really use or like silver as a highlight, but I think it looks real really subtle i think it looks real really nice i look very very dewy because i wanted to do a little homage to linda or linda so far really like this palette is it worth the price 
depends on you. As I said, the packaging is so much sturdier. It's definitely an improvement. I really, really like the packaging of the palette. I like the layout. You do get a lot of product and I feel like the color story is very unique as well as the duochrome and the silver. These two, obviously, I haven't tried yet, so I can't really say that much about them, but I will update you as I said. But that was all from me today. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, please feel free to thumbs this video down. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!